Hello, this is Caleb Barney, a local and investor-friendly agent here in the greater Cleveland area, and today I wanted to go over an article from Redfin titled, Home Buyers on a $3,000 Monthly Budget Have Gained $40,000 in Purchasing Power Since Mortgage Rates Peaked Last Fall. Uh, so it's quite the, the mouthful of a title, but I thought it was pretty eye-catching, uh, honestly, in that you know, home buyers have gained $40,000 in purchasing power. Um, so basically what that means is say you're trying to keep your monthly budget, your monthly mortgage payment around $3,000 a month. Uh, when interest rates peaked in about the third to fourth week of October, depending on what, uh, you know, what website you're looking at that's tracking that, uh, they peaked at an average rate of 7.8% according to the data that Redfin was using. Uh, I like to use Mortgage News Daily, and I believe that they actually calculated that by the time you uh, factor everything in, a lot of people were paying about 8% uh, in that same time frame. That being said, uh, with the interest rates currently at 6.7%, they're saying that same $3,000 monthly budget went from being able to afford a home that was uh, basically four hundred and you know sixteen thousand dollars back in October, and now you could afford a home uh, for that same payment, and it would be about four hundred fifty-three thousand dollars with the current interest rates. So you're gaining about forty k uh, in purchasing power, meaning you can afford to buy a more expensive home and keep your monthly budget the same. Uh, which is definitely encouraging news for any home buyers. Um, the other good news here is that basically rates have been ticking down uh, since October. It's going to be a bumpy ride, as uh, you know, as Redfin expects here. But that being said, you know we should hopefully have a six handle uh, the entire year, and hopefully it'll be going down by the end of the year. So that's not to say it's always going to be lower and lower. So, you know, I'm recording this on January 30th. That doesn't mean on, you know, February 28th or on March 30th or whatever the date is that it's going to be lower than the 6.7% rate right now because rates fluctuate daily. Um, they, they fluctuate all the time. Um, and that's why it's not necessarily smart to try to time the market. So that's actually what Redfin Chief Economist Daryl Fairweather says too, and I completely agree with him. He said, my advice to serious house hunters is trying to time the market around mortgage rates is probably a waste of energy as affordability is unlikely to, to change meaningfully in the next several months. Instead, buyers should focus, or I'm sorry, buyers should consider their own personal and financial circumstances. What matters most is whether the home meets your needs for the long term and whether you can afford it with today's rates, basically. So timing the market happened. It mattered when you're looking in the, the big picture of 2021, uh, you know, late half of 2020, uh, of 2020, all through 2021, and even the first portion of 2022. Um, that's when we saw historic lows, all-time lows, that you hear people getting interest rates in the threes, some people, depending on their credit score, their down payment, stuff like that, uh, their debt to income ratio, they were in the, the high twos even. Um, and those days are long gone. Um, most economists say that we may never see interest rates in the threes again. Um, and it might be several years before interest rates uh, even break below the 5% rate. So that being said, don't time the market. Your timing, you know, the, as the saying goes, you know, you can't time the market, but time in the market is what matters. So if you can afford a house, it meets all of your needs, and you plan on staying there for, you know, at least the next five years or so, then, you know, get the house, um, if you, if rates do drop considerably, sure, you can refinance, but, uh, it's better to get the house that checks all the boxes for you or checks, you know, the important boxes for you and 
then you can at least start building equity and make that home your own uh, as opposed to renting for another six months, 12 months or more um, because there's so many buyers that I run into at open houses and and beyond uh, just in normal everyday conversation that are saying, oh yeah, I've been looking for a couple of years and I wish I would have bought you know this house you know a couple of years ago but um, you know I was waiting for something better or you know I, I felt like I was going to be spending uh, too much money I didn't want to you know pay an extra three thousand dollars to get the house but now they're kicking themselves because they've paid more than that in rent um, all this time so if it's the right house for you and if you can afford it with today's rates it's just icing on the cake if rates go down but that's uh, that's basically what I'm looking at when it comes to should I buy a house? Uh, only you can answer that if you're financially ready. But if you are, then don't wait. Um, you know, don't wait to buy real estate. Uh, buy real estate and then wait. So again, this is Caleb Barney. Um, I serve the Northeast Ohio area, specifically the greater Cleveland area. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.